Hey everyone, it's Jasmine Woodland and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video everyone, David Easton and Janelle Evans have spoken out pretty much saying that they are completely done with trying to get Jace or Marissa back. Now this situation is entirely sad everyone. I mean this is just sickening so I'm just going to hop right into this. I'm going to put a snippet up so everyone can just follow along with the news outlet in the states right here. The Team Mom 2 stars have stated that they are through trying to get back David's 11-year-old daughter Marissa following a supervised visit gone wrong on Thursday. Janelle and David had supervised visit at the visitation center with all four of their kids. Jason and Inslee were there, as was Kaiser. Marissa came but refused to see her father David, so he left. The sources states that this angered David. David states, oh. I am done with Marissa and she can stay with her grandmother for good. Marissa has been staying with her maternal grandmother. Marissa's mother, Whitney Johnson, reportedly lives in the house as well, but does not have any sort of custody of Marissa. Any sites that report that Whitney is temporarily the caregiver of Marissa is incorrect. Marissa is placed with her grandmother. Marissa was living with her grandmother before David was awarded her back in 2017. David Easton has reportedly stated that he will be dropping any stuff that Marissa has left on the land to her grandmother's house and will no longer be fighting to get her back. David and Janelle visited with the other three kids, but from what the Ashley hears, they are not fighting to win back unsupervised visits with Jace either. They are now only fighting to get custody of Ensley and Kaiser. Janelle and David will meet with the judge on Tuesday to learn the steps they must take back to win custody of any of the children. So that is the updated news everyone on this situation and honey, I am getting right into my final thoughts because I am fired up right now. So let me get this straight and comment below if you all agree with my thoughts alright. David sits over here and does things in that house that negatively affects the children. It makes them scared. It, it makes them not trust their father. He does things to the dog. He do, does things to Janelle to sit over there and, and scare them and prove that he is an unfit father. And then he's angry when Marissa refuses to see him. I mean, she's probably refusing to see him because she is afraid of that man. That man is six foot something. He towers over everyone and he has an anger problem. And you mean to tell me that he's angry at his 11 year old daughter because she's confused and scared and she doesn't want anything to do with him currently? And do you see what the source is reporting? I'll just put it back up for you all to see. It states that he is going to go back to their land. You know, he, the, him and Janelle love saying their land to go get her clothes as if she's just some tramp. Get her clothes and, and just drop it at her grandma's house like she's just trash. It's wrong. This is wrong. This is completely this takes the cake on this entire situation i don't know this nugget and this is neck and neck because this is sickening and the fact that janelle is condoning everything just leads me to believe that they just truly deserve one another she said also that she doesn't even want to get jace back she, you know her mom can just have jace and she can just see jace whenever they're just practically just giving up and that is the most sickening thing ever. You caused this mess. They both caused this mess with their kids. They caused all this drama. And then you're just going to give up on the kids when the kids did nothing. You're just going to throw them away like they're garbage. They should be ashamed. This is just, this is sad, everyone. I mean, this is just the most saddest information ever. But you know what? Maybe there's a light at the end of the, at the, end of the tunnel because their grandmothers are going to take great care of them. Kaiser is in good hands with his grandmother and with his father, Nathan. Jace is in good hands with Barbara, and so is Emily. She's in better hands with Barbara. And Marissa's going to be in good hands with her grandmother. 
this situation is sad. They don't deserve those kids. I've always tried to give them, a, or at least Janelle, the benefit of the, da the doubt. I can't even talk. <laughs> I've always tried to give Janelle the benefit of the doubt. But she's proven time and time again that she doesn't even deserve that. I am just so upset that I can't even talk right. This is sad that they just throw the kids away like they're just, they meant nothing or they mean nothing. The fact that he's like, oh, I'm angry because my daughter, my 11 year old daughter Marissa doesn't want to come see me because of my own actions. I'm going to sit over here and be angry at her. Like, are you kidding me? Have they fell and bumped their head? So this entire situation is just sick and it's sad. And the fact that they are just, in La La Land thinking they're gonna get any kids back is just laughable and I just can't wait until reality slaps them in the face that hey you ain't getting these kids back no time soon I am disgusted I am just utterly disgusted and you know what nothing good is gonna come of this situation period once that money dries up that Janelle has currently she's not getting paid from nowhere else once that money dries up and once David can't land a job because he's a welder by trade, you know, he loves saying that. Once that money dries up, there's going to be more problems. It's going to be more arguments. It's going to be more fights. It's going to be more of that. And they will not get their kids back. You're going to just mark my words, everyone. They're not going to get them kids back. And I am just like so sad for Marissa because it's just like she's 11 years old. And to be treated like that from your own father, you know, your own dad is just saying, I'm just going to toss you away like trash because you're scared of me. It's ridiculous. Instead of loving her, consoling her, saying, I am sorry, I apologize, and I will be a better father, and these are the steps that I'm going to take to be a better father towards you, Marissa. Instead of being that way, you be childish and say, well, I'm just going to kick her to the curve because she's mad at my actions that I caused. They need help in the head. They really need to go get evaluated. There are two sick individuals and this will end badly. I say that in all my other videos and I am just waiting. I'm not, you know, like, trust me, I'm not saying, well, you know, I hope something bad happens. I'm just saying this is gonna end badly because they're both ticking time bombs. They both have anger problems. They both are messed up in the head. They both have the same values, the same morals because they do the same bad things. And it's gonna come a day to want, we're gonna hear some negative stuff in the news in regards to either one of them or both. And mark my words on that. And they will not get these kids back. I'm just mad. Can't y'all tell I'm mad? Like, I feel so bad for the kids. That's why I'm mad. I, I feel so bad for Marissa that her father is doing this to her. It's wrong. What do you all think about this entire situation before I just take this camera and throw it across the room? What do you all think about this entire situation involving David Eason pretty much just tossing his daughter to the curb and, and Janelle just tossing Jace to the curb? What do you all think about this entire situation? You know, hashtag justice for Jace and, and Marissa and, and the rest of the kids. Comment your thoughts below on this situation. If you are not subscribed, make sure you tap that and tap the bell beside it to get notifications on future videos that I upload and until next time everyone see ya